Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash a ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. In this case, the home base Photon ROM. Uh, this is only if your bootloader is unlocked and you have uh, clockwork on your phone and you got to be rooted. So that is the only way you can flash this ROM. If you have bootstrap recovery, this doesn't work, so make sure you don't try it because it will not work. Uh, anyways, what you're going to need to do is click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to this website. Thanks to uh, CN Screams, Sean Screams for this ROM. Basically what it is is a slim uh, a slim ROM for the Photon that gets rid of all the bloatware. And it's uh, actually, it's he's included some tweaks as well to make it faster. And uh, include Shabby Penguin's uh, kernel as well which overclocks to 1.1 gigahertz. So uh, go ahead and scroll down and it, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down until you get to right here. Um, you got two versions, 2.2e and you have 2.1. Um, you, you can choose, uh, I chose 2.1. Version 2.2e, it has uh, ext4, but it breaks Wi-Fi. So, um, basically, there's ext3 and ext4. That's the file system the phone will run. ext3 is the stock file system that is ran on the Photon, and ext4 is a, basically an updated version of uh, the file system. It's going to make it a little faster, uh, but as you can see, Wi-Fi is broken at the moment. So I went ahead and downloaded the version 2.1 version. As you can see, it includes Shabby's kernel and it's the ext3 version. So click on the link right there and download it. I also want you to scroll, or you can also download this one. It's the same process for any ROM. Um, you got home base Photon update as well. So uh, there's an update for all versions. So I'm gonna click, make sure you click on this and download it as well. So you're gonna have two downloads. It's gonna be home base Photon 4.1 and home base Photon 2.1. 2.1's the ROM, 4.1's the uh, update. So it's just an update to Make sure you have all the latest tweaks for your phone. So uh, once you have those downloaded, you can plug your phone in and mount your uh, mount your phone to your PC. And uh, as you can see over here, I have my uh, SD card and my uh, internal memory. You can put these files on either one. You're just going to need to transfer them over. So select both of them, uh, the update and the ROM, and drag them over to either your SD card or your internal storage. It, it doesn't matter since Clockwork Mod reads both. But once that's done, go ahead and eject uh, both of them, your SD card and your internal. I put mine on my SD card. And then go ahead and unplug your phone. So uh, once your phone's unplugged, go ahead and just power it on off. So power off your Photon. Mm -hmm. And once your phone's powered down, you're going to need to get into Clockwork. So to boot into Clockwork Mod, all you have to do is press volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold those. Press and hold until you see fast boot up at the top. So as you can see, it says unlocked fast boot. Um, I'm unlocked, as you can see, and it also says fast boot. Now you're going to need to scroll through, so hit the volume down button until you get to uh, Android recovery. So keep hitting the volume down button. Keep hitting it until you get to Android Recovery. And once you get to Android Recovery, press the volume up arrow to select it. So volume up is going to select. It says entering Android Recovery mode. And it should reboot into uh, Clockwork Mod for you. As you can see, uh, Clockwork Mod Based Recovery, version 4.0.1.5. Um, let that focus. Um, what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and um, to flash this ROM, obviously you're going to need the uh, those files on either your internal storage or your SD card. But this is actually going to wipe your data, so make sure you save any apps, any contacts, any text messages, anything like that. Make sure those are backed up before you do this process, since your uh, storage is going to get your phone's going to get wiped. Um, but what you're going to need to do is hit the volume up and down to navigate, power button to select. So now you're going to need to go to wipe data slash factory reset, reset. So volume down two times and press the power button. And then it says include SD, EXT, and wipe. Basically what that is is your external SD card. So if you want to wipe that, just hit no. You don't want to wipe your SD card. So make sure you hit no 
and press power button and then it says uh, confirm wipe of all user data. This cannot be undone. So then press the volume up or volume down and navigate to yes. Delete all user data and press the power button. As you can see, it's going to format my uh, data on my on my phone. All right, it says data wipe complete. That process did take a little while, so be patient with it because that uh, that did take a little bit of time. So now once that's done, I'm going to have you guys go down to wipe cache partition and then just hit yes just to ensure that uh, it's wiped completely so it's going to format the cache. I believe it wipes your cache even when you wipe data, but I'm going to have you guys do it just to ensure that it's wiped completely. And then once that's done, go to advanced and then press power button and then go to wipe Dalvik cache and then hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache as well. So that one uh, doesn't take long. So now that all three of those things have been wiped, hit go back and then hit install zip from SD card and then hit choose zip from SD card and then obviously you get your option internal SD card, external SD card. Go to wherever you put it, whether on the internal memory or external. I went to the external. And then navigate to your ROM. So uh, home base Photon 2.1 EXT4 Remissign.zip. So go to that home base Photon ROM, press it, and then hit yes, install it. So um, let it run through the install process. Uh, should might take a little while. So be patient with the install, and then once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and just reboot my phone. Okay, so now it says install from SD card complete. It did take a little while, so make sure you're just patient with the install process. process. And now that it's done, it says uh, you're going to need to go back and then hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. I know the install script says it's converting to ext4 actually, but it isn't. Uh, he just probably didn't change the install script from uh, his ext4 ROM to this ext3 ROM. So don't be, uh, don't freak out if that uh, if it says that. Um, it also this ROM actually wiped all those three things for you before you f uh, flash the, while you flash the ROM actually. So. To flash this ROM, you actually didn't need to wipe data cache and Dalvik cache, but I had you do it just because with majority of ROMs, that's a process that you need to go through to flash a ROM. So just to let you know that that's a process that's usually gone through to flash a ROM. But as you can see, a nice uh, droid startup screen, a little different right there. It's pretty cool. All right, now that my phone has booted up, as you can see, it takes me to the Android startup screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the guy. I'm going to skip these uh, account setups just so you guys don't have to watch me set up all those accounts. But you get two options for a home launcher. You get TouchWiz Launcher and Launcher Pro. I'm going to go ahead and try out TouchWiz Launcher. And it looks like it has TouchWiz 4 Launcher on your phone by uh, stock. So coming from an Epic, uh, Samsung Epic 4G, I'm very familiar with TouchWiz. So it's a, it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run through the ROM real quick. I'm actually gonna show you guys, so this is TouchWiz uh, 4 launcher. As you can see, it's uh, it's got these little buttons down here that show you what home screen you're on. You can press on them to switch to that screen. Uh, you got your applications bar right there. Uh, you can actually slide this as well, which is very cool if you wanna go to a different home screen. So that's a very nice feature to have. But you got applications right there, so I'm going to go ahead and press that. As you can see, your app drawer is uh, side to side. It's not scrolling. It's a little, it's transparent as well, so you can see your background. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess we can go through the apps. I believe he cut down a lot of the uh, Motorola Blur apps in your the Motorola Blur apps in your uh, on your phone. So just to let you know there that sm some of them will be gone and you won't have them. If you do want some of the uh, the bloat apps, basically, you can go ahead and download this bloat pack and flash that through Clockwork. So in case you want to download, uh, you want to uh, flash bloat apps that you do want, go ahead and flash that. But anyways, that would be your uh, stock touch was launcher. I'm gonna hit home again and now it gives me an option to go to Launcher Pro. So I'm gonna click on Launcher Pro I don't know if you guys uh, have used this or not. It's an app you can get in the app drawer, actually. Gives you uh, options. It's a nice launcher. Um, you can uh, go ahead. It's got a up and down. It gives you more uh, settings. So you can go to settings. 
and then no not settings sorry you can go to preferences right here and then you, you got all these options to mess with your launcher pro so there's two uh lock screen op two home screen options i'm going to go ahead and go to touch was launcher but anyways as you can see up at the top you got uh different options up here so um basically your battery icon is uh battery percentage icon as you can see it says 98 up there so it lets you know what your battery percentage is at go ahead and swipe down it looks like it's got the stock uh notification bar uh no different theming there so i'm gonna go ahead and clear that I know you see the 4G icon up there. I don't believe 4G works since your bootloader is unlocked. So I, I think it's just on. It just runs through a scan, but it won't connect to 4G. So just so you guys know there. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go to Menu, Settings, and then I'm going to go to About Phone. And as you can see, Android version 2.3.4. Um, everything seems to be the same, but as you can see, kernel version, uh, David at Shabby Mint Photon Penguins, which is the kernel that you're running. Uh, right now, my phone is running, uh, basically, it's overclocked at 1.1 gigahertz, so just so you know there. I'm going to go to About Phone, and as you can see, build, build number, home base 2.1 right there. So just so you know there, um, that you are running home base ROM. Anyways, this phone, it does seem really snappy. I do feel like this ROM has been very snappy. I also heard from a good friend of mine, T. Phillips, that he's been running this ROM and he really likes it as well. Very minimalistic and uh, it works well. So definitely be sure to try out this ROM. So now what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and flash that update. So go ahead and just power off your photon. <laughs> And then once it's uh, powered off, go back into clockwork. So volume down, power button at the same time. Press and hold. And then navig and then hit the volume down button until you get to Android recovery. And then press the volume up button. It's going to take you into clockwork. And then once you're in clockwork, go ahead and just go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and then go to whatever it's on external or internal and then go to home base photon 4.1 update and then press it and then hit yes install. So that's going to update your ROM for you. That's all it's basically going to do is install an update for your ROM. So just so you guys know that uh, it's going to update your ROM for you. No need to wipe anything. This will uh, wipe the cache for you. And it says install from SD card complete. Just hit uh, go back and then hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. And your phone's just going to be updated. I believe I don't believe any visual changes are going to be made. It's just going to add a couple tweaks and just make sure everything is working properly. So be sure to flash this fix. This, uh, sorry, not fix. Just this update because it'll fix some stuff and give you more tweaks and your phone's going to perform a little better. So just make sure that you do flash this update. All right, now my phone has booted up. As you can see, you got your launcher options. If you do want one to come up by default, just check this box used uh, by default for this action and then go to whatever one you want to use by default. So yeah, um, now that that has been, uh, yeah, I flashed the update, then everything seems to be the same. It's just going to update and add some tweaks. Your phone should be running very smoothly. But if you do have any problems, have any questions at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. As always, um, as I said, this is the process to flash any ROM that you do want to run on your Photon. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And just give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video.